Good morning, teacher. Can you borrow me your dictionary, please? I needed to do my homework. Morning, Alex. Are you sure you said that question correctly? Think about it. Mm, yeah, I mean, I always say it when I want someone to lend me something. Okay, but the correct way could be, can you lend me your dictionary, please? Some people use borrow when they actually mean loan or lend. For example, can you borrow me an eraser? When what they mean to say is, can you lend me an eraser? Oh, I understand. But what is the difference? I don't get it. In standard English, to borrow means to take something from someone, knowing that you will give it back. To lend or to loan means to pass something on to someone else for a short time. Oh, now I get it. Then, can I borrow your dictionary to do my homework, teacher? Very good. And no, I can't. I don't have a dictionary right now. Sorry. You don't have one? Me too. I have been looking for a dictionary the whole morning. Me too? I suppose you wanted to say me either. Am I right? No, me too. I mean, me too, I don't have a dictionary. That's what I told you. The difference between me too and me either is that one is positive and the other one is negative. The positive one is me too. So for example, if you say I like traveling, then I would say me too. Which means I like traveling too. On the other hand, if you say I don't like extreme sports, then if I agree with you, I would say me either, which means I don't like extreme sports either, not too, either. So, if you want to agree with a positive statement, you should say me too. If you want to agree with a negative statement, you should say me either instead. Do you get it? Yeah, now I understand. I've been saying that wrong since two years. <laughs> no, it's not since two years. That's not correct. Since is used with a specific point of time in the past. That's a very common mistake students make. And for is only used with a period of time, like the number of years. So, the correct way would be, I've been saying that wrong for two years, or the other way. I have been saying it wrong since I started learning English, or you can say the year you started. Oh, that makes sense. I didn't understood that before. Thank you very much for your help, teacher. I didn't understood or I didn't understand. Which one is correct? Can you tell me? Oh, did I say it wrong? I didn't knew I was wrong, teacher. I'm sorry about that. You're doing it again. You said I didn't knew, which is not correct. And I'll tell you why. That is also a common mistake students make. We cannot use the past tense twice like this. We've already made do into did, 
which is the past tense. If you already change the helping verb into the past tense, you don't need to also use the past tense of your main verb. So it's I didn't go to the party and no, I didn't went to the party because didn't is already in the past tense. You're right, teacher. I'm learning English. There's many mistakes I usually make when I speak. Another mistake. But don't worry. There are a lot of people, especially native speakers, who use there is when we're talking about a plural subject. Um, for example, There is many ways to study English. That's actually an incorrect sentence. The reason many native speakers end up using there is instead of there are is simply because it's easier to say. Try it. There's, there are, which feels more comfortable when you're pronouncing it. There's or there are. Too many R sounds in a row are hard to pronounce, even for native speakers. <laughs> but the correct way is there are many mistakes and there is one mistake. Remember that. Thank you, teacher. I didn't meet nobody better than you at teaching English. You are a good teacher. Wait. It's very common for non-native English speakers to say, I didn't meet nobody, which is incorrect. People say, I didn't meet nobody, but the word nobody could be wrong in this sentence. The correct version is, I didn't meet anybody. Do you know why? I will tell you. Because nobody isn't used in a sentence that already has not in it. A sentence that is already negative. If there is already a negative component in a sentence, you do not add another negative to it. You'd say, I didn't meet anybody. And no, I didn't meet nobody. I understand. You know what? The life could be more beautiful without mistakes. <laughs> this is an old one, but it's still a tricky one. I mean, the use of da for general statement. Many advanced learners still use the definite article when talking about a plural or uncountable noun. Remember that in English, when we're talking in general about all of a thing, we don't use da. For example, the sentence life is beautiful is correct, but the life is beautiful is not correct. That doesn't mean we can't use da, but when we do, we're being specific and only referring to one thing. For example, I'm reading about the life of Jennifer Aniston. That's the difference. You're right, teacher. My friend, he told me I was making a lot of mistakes, but I didn't believe he. Two mistakes. Another common mistake is repeating the subject in a sentence when you really don't need to. My friend, she's coming with me. We don't need to say she. We can just say, my friend is coming with me. If we talk about her again, then we could say she, because we know who we are talking about. In your previous sentence could be, my friend told me, or he told me, but not both of them. And the other mistake is, I didn't believe he, which is not correct, 
the right way it could be. I didn't believe him. Notice that I used him and not he. You see? Because him is the pronoun we need to use in the object of a sentence. In the same way, you need to use him in the object and he in the subject. That is the correct way. Fantastic. I'm learning a lot, teacher. Thanks for correcting my mistakes. It's my pleasure. But now you need to go to classes. It's very late, Alex. Yeah, I know. But can we do this again, please? I'm sure I'm making many more mistakes. Of course, but only if our subscribers like this kind of videos. Take care. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.